Hey everyone, here is a problem solving video related to Atwood machines. Um, this is the second time I'm running this video. I had some issues with the first time. So let's give this a shot. We have an Atwood machine here. First thing I like to do is think about the direction of acceleration. Here's my heavier block, the three kilograms, so my A will be downward here, and my two kilogram will accelerate upwards. I always like to think about my coordinates or my sign convention and make my sign convention to have the positive direction, so my positive Y pointing in the direction of the acceleration. Now that does lead to something interesting because on the left side of the pulley, notice that if I do a little Y grid here, my positive is upward and my negative is downward and on the right side of the pulley if I follow this convention then my downward is positive and my upward is negative and I do this so that I can stay consistent in terms of my signs uh, related to the acceleration okay so now that I have all that set up the next step for me is I usually like to analyze the system of both blocks and this is going to require me to combine the masses so that's a five kilogram total mass and the pulley basically changes the direction um, of the force and I, I just like to kind of straighten this Atwood machine out when I think about it and it's basically these weight forces that compete with one another so if I think about what's going on if I consider this whole thing as my system and let me number the blocks let me call this block block one this block block two this is a weight force called M2G and the weight of this one is just M1G. Now if I take a look at this grid that I've created I want to use it when I'm thinking about my forces. This is my positive direction, this is my negative direction following what I have over here. M2G then is going to equal 3 times 10 meters per second squared and positive 30 newtons and this M1G is a negative 20 newtons. Okay, at this point I'm like ready to find what net force would be. Uh, it's going to be M1G plus M2G. So this means that my net force is equal to negative 20 newtons plus 30 newtons. So my net force is equal to 10 newtons. Okay, now that I have net force, I think we're pretty well set up here to find the acceleration. So the acceleration here is going to equal the net force over the mass. So the acceleration here is going to be 10 newtons divided by the mass of that system, which was 5 kilograms. So our acceleration is a positive 2 meters per second squared. Does this make sense that the acceleration comes out positive? Well, let me check. Yes, I have the acceleration up here where this direction was positive and the acceleration is down here. The next thing I can find is the tension force. The problem is though that the system we've chosen to analyze, the system of both, if we consider this whole thing, our system, notice that that rope is internal to your system here. So you can't find tension using this system. This means that we're going to have to choose one of the individual blocks as our system. And it doesn't matter if you choose the 3 kilogram or the 2 kilogram, they'll both get the job done here. So let's choose the 3 kilogram today. This means that our mass is 3 kilograms. Our coordinate grid for this was, when I look at the 3 kilogram, down is positive. So when I have my y-axis here, down is positive and up was negative. All right, so now if I set this up, my acceleration should be down. That means that my F net is also down for the three kilogram block. This means that my M2G vector, which I know to be 30 newtons, is longer than the tension force. Okay, and I don't know what the tension force is. Okay, I do know that the acceleration is 2 meters per second squared because if the acceleration of the entire system is 2, then the acceleration of one of the individual boxes is also 2. Okay, 
Net force is equal to m times a. My net force here is going to be the mass of this system, which is 3 kilograms, times the acceleration, which is 2. I don't know if you guys can hear my son. I don't know. He's uh, having a little bit of a tantrum here. So I'm going to try and get this done uh, for you guys as quickly as possible. Um, my net force statement here is just going to be summing up all of the forces. So I've got tension plus M2G. Here's my net, this positive 6. Tension's my unknown, plus a positive 30 for the weight. So if you subtract 30 newtons from each side, you end up with T equals negative 24 newtons. Does it make sense the tension's negative? Yeah, we had the upward is negative, and this is an upward force. Now, if you chose the 2 kilogram system, you'd still come out with the 24 newton tension, but this should be a positive 24 newton tension. So give it a try. You try the 2 for net force equals ma. Instead of 3, you have 2. So for net, you get a 6. You get a 4, I'm sorry. You put the 4 newtons here equals t, but this time it would be minus 20. So of course, adding 20 to each side gives you the 24. I hope that you found this really helpful uh, as you start problem solving with, for Atwood machines. If you have any questions, as always, let me know. And I hope that you're having a great day. Thanks.